everyone, Jeannie here, and welcome back to my channel. So in honor of back to school, so Scarlett's first day of school is today, I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys my DIY command center. So what I did is I flipped a um, piece of home decor that I had in my house for probably the last year and a half. I got it from Hobby Lobby like a year and a half ago. <laughs> um, and I went ahead and just flipped it over and I turned it into something new. So I actually did not pay for the... Um, piece that I worked with. So um, that's just an idea. If you guys have some um, old home decor that you're not using or you don't want, turn it around and turn it into something new. So let's go ahead and hop into it. And everything that I added on to my command center, most of it was from the Dollar Tree, but I have one thing that came from my um, confetti um, box, which I'll have um, their link below as well if you guys want to check out the confetti box. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so for today's project, like I mentioned, I'm doing a DIY command center. So I have two young ones in school, two different schedules, two different lists. So I wanted to have something that was going to be functional for us. So what I did is I flipped my welcome to our nest sign that I've had for forever from Hobby Lobby. I flipped it over and started painting the base of it red. And then I got these um, dry erase boards from um, the Dollar Tree. So what I did is I got some planner stickers and I wanted to create kind of like a, like a planning page, something that we could reuse over and over again. So that's why I went with the dry erase board. So I got some washi tape and did some dividing in terms of what I wanted to put on my board. So um, yeah, and then I'm just adding more um, planner stickers. Like I said, I wanted to have kind of like a a visual planner that I could use over and over again. Alright, so I went ahead and put the kids' names on their board and I got these really cute poster board letters and I loved the rainbow um, lettering and this just came out super cute. I am I suck at penmanship so um, these um, poster board letters saved my life. So I'm just adding their nicknames on their board. So I have um, Scar on one and then I went ahead um, and put Sawyer's name on it. And what I wanted to add on these boards, I wanted to write what their schedule was because my parents come and help out, Chris's parents come and help out and I want, wanted this board to have no questions if someone was coming in here wondering where are the kids at, what are they doing, um, and where do they need to go, when do they need to be picked up. So that's why I wanted to make this board. So I also wanted to write what was due for the next day at school. What are we supposed to bring to school? Is it a special um, like spirit day? Um, so now I'm going into Sawyer's and this specifically is going to help me out with um, Sawyer because in preschool they have all these different special days. You have Red Day, you have Blue Day, you have um, Pirates Day. Like there's so many different themed days over in preschool and I need a visual before I leave the house to know, okay, does Sawyer have his red shirt on? Does Sawyer have his blue shirt on? Does he have crazy hair? Like this is going to help me so much. So my first plan was to hot glue um, these boards down, but I decided to go ahead and just use a um, nail and hammer and just hammer it in because the glue was not working the way I wanted it to and this is going to make it to where it's sturdy and doesn't fall off. Um, and then I also got this um, dry erase um, calendar from the Dollar Tree as well that has the whole entire month laid out so I thought that that would be helpful too so I could see like what day of the week it is. I can even add some of our menu um, plans on this as well so I like having like a calendar view as well. And then I'm going in and just rewriting Sawyer's name here because it wiped off when I was trying to hammer everything in so I wanted to go ahead um, and rewrite everything. Add something fun on here and schedules just make me super happy so I wanted to write something on here um, that would just make me smile so I decided just to go ahead and write schedule me 
And then I like to have some humor in the day, so I went ahead with a um, chalkboard marker and I put today's goal. And today's goal every day is just to keep the tiny humans alive. That is my goal every single day. So this is the final product, you guys, and I am so excited to have this in my house to keep me organized. Um, I also took a notepad that I got from a confetti box and I hammered that in as well. So if I need to run to the store, I have a to-do list, I can just jot it down. And I also have this verse because it really inspires me to continue to be loving towards everyone. Um, so we have Scarlet's schedule, we have what to do, what we need to bring, on um, Sawyer's what to bring schedule, um, and just some other reminders that I have for the month. And then I have their um, hooks for their backpacks, and I just love how this turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Comment below if you liked this DIY command center, and let me know in the comment section below if you guys plan to do something similar. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday, and happy back to school season to everyone out there going back to school, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.